Hello and welcome to this video by Dive World. Today I'm going to show you how to put together your brand new regulator set. Okay, today we're going to put together a standard regulator set consisting of a first stage with second stage, uh, inflator hose, a console and an alternative air or octopus. Um, the tools you're going to need are an Allen key, and a wrench, European size 15 or 14, it depends on the brand you're using um, and what hoses they are fitting. Okay, the first thing we're gonna start with is getting the plugs out of the first stage where later on the hoses are gonna come. Okay, on the right side, the primary first stage is here and right next to it comes the alternative air. So we're gonna take out this plug. On the other side, We've got the inflator hose and the console. Those are actually different ports. The con console with the pressure gauge always goes in a high pressure port and the inflator hose always goes into a low pressure hose. You can mix them up because they have a different di diameter. Um, an inflator hose won't fit in a high pressure hose so you can't make a mistake there. Okay, step two is fitting the hoses. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you're all starting with, but I always begin with the longest one. And you can just put them in like this, and when they're hand tied, it's more than enough. Then we're gonna fit the console with the pressure gauge in the high pressure port on the other side. Just turn them in. We're gonna use a wrench to tighten them a little bit more later on. And the last one we're gonna fit is the inflator hose. Just like that. Okay, step three is we're gonna tighten and fasten all the hoses. We need a wrench for that. Um, we use a wrench European size 15. Um, they differ from brand to brand. It, sometimes you'll need 14, so the best is to keep them both at hand so you can use them. In this one everything is 15, that's why I'm only using one wrench. And tight is tight, you don't have to use an excessive amount of force. Just make sure everything is tight and pull back the sleeves so everything is in order and ready to go to step four. Okay, the fourth and last step we're going to do is make sure everything is in order. Um, you don't want to go to the dive site and find out not everything is fitted together as it should be and you've got a leak. So better to test it at home before you gonna use the regulator set. Um, we need a dive tank for that, just like that. First thing you do is just put the regulator on the tank. Just like that. Okay. When it's on, I always take one of the second stages and push the purge button a little bit before I open the tank. That way, not all the pressure goes onto the system at once and it's better for your system. I open it slowly and when I hear the regulator or the second stage perch, I release it and as we can hear there's no leak. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it like this because you're very close to your first stage. When there is a leak it will be close to your ear and you can get ear damage from it. Also when there's a small leak don't lean in and listen to it. A small leak becomes bigger very quickly and you'll be right into the firing zone. So don't do it like this. Okay, this set is ready for diving. Okay, when you make sure that all the hoses are fastened and are secure and you test your set before you go out diving, this is a job you can easily do yourself. If you're not comfortable or sure that you did it the right way, please visit your local dive store. I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, if it did, please give us a like below. Um, if you have any tips 
for yourself please share them with us in the comments or subscribe to our channel for more diving videos how to's and product reviews thanks for watching see you later